letting people take the piss out of me. I'm the one taking the piss out of myself. When I go home, it's just me and Marty. Yeah. What did you just say before you started filming? I don't want to get the broken mirrors in. Well, they're not mirrors, they're boards. They're boards. And you said? I said I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Do you know why I don't give a fuck? Cool. Well, ask me how broke. Well, ask me how they got broke. I can't remember how they got broke. Apparently, um, they rico something ricocheted off them. That'll be the end of that conversation. Um, no, 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 because I'm always known for being honest. But, because of my social media, and because of certain court proceedings, everything I do and everything I say can be used against me. Yeah. And is used against me. So, so they try and stop me from being real and try to silence me, try and stop me from talking about real problems, real mistakes that everybody has. And that's what people like watching about my videos, because I'm honest, and when they have real problems and make real mistakes, they watch one of my videos and they go, oh shit, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Very true. And I haven't really been able to do that recently. And I do have a lot of problems and do make a lot of mistakes. So, um, what I'll say is this. Get this angle, go on I can't remember how they got broken. However, remember this, it doesn't matter how much somebody has. It doesn't really, um, no amount of money, no amount of fame, no amount of likability can take away mental illness. In fact, it's very rare that medication can take away mental illness. Mental illness is a condition that the majority of the time you're born with. Sometimes you develop it over time, but most of the time you're born with it. And like most things you're born with, you can never get rid of it. So there's no point in pretending that you're okay. You're never gonna be okay. What you can do is learn, learn more about yourself, learn more about your surroundings and make some informed decisions and realise your strengths, realise your weaknesses, see things that you're not particularly good at, not particularly dealing with things and try and take yourself out of that situation. And uh, I suppose that's why we built the wall up, you know, around our premises. That's why the gym's for me to use, you know, I've selected pe people, that, you know, that either work here or or I consider as friends that train here. Um, people that are serious. The majority of the time the gym's empty, right? Especially when I train. Because it's my, my place of peace, my time to, you know, have, have me time, my time to train. But, remember this, sometimes the funniest guy in the room lives the loneliest life at home. And like I said, that doesn't matter whether you're poor or rich, whether you're loved or hated. <laughs> Things aren't always what they seem. I mean, look at poor Rob, uh, Robin Williams, you know, the actor, yeah. Robin Williams. I mean, he ended up committing suicide, didn't he? He had everything. Movie star, didn't hear any scandals about him. Nothing. Loved his wife, loved his family. Always happy. Always, always, he was, he was the life and soul of the party. You know, when I'm with you guys and that, I'm always the one cracking jokes, you know, fucking taking the piss out of other people. Then people take the piss out of me. I'm the one taking the piss out of myself. When I go home, it's just me and Marty. And you and Eddie at the minute, because you ain't got anywhere to live. But, <laughs> other than that, other than that, what am I? And uh, with mental illness, especially with me, Most of my problems come from overthinking. Um, so what I try and do is keep myself busy. And if you overthink, what, what, what comes after that is paranoia. Um, you know, all different feelings and emotions. So, I can't quite remember how these got broke. I think the fairies did it. I think so. But apparently the fairies had catapults. Did they? Yeah. Bastards. But, what I will say is, I struggle to. 
But you know what? I ain't ashamed of it. Being able to admit to admit when I struggle and admit when when I uh, make mistakes that makes me even more alpha. So can everyone else. Exactly. Being alpha is about or being fake. Also not dropping yourself in the shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I will. Alpha training, baby.